Would you like to add some awesome effects to your home screen or to your lock screen like this? This is Aqua Board. This is a recently released jailbreak tweak. It works for the iPhone and the iPad. It allows you to have water effects on your home screen or as you see right here, your lock screen, and it actually interacts with your touches if you choose to do so. I'm gonna show you some of the settings here for Aqua Board. Now, first of all, you have a lot of different settings there. The first one at the top is the kill switch. You have the water appearance. You can have where, it, where you want it to appear. You have various themes. Notice quite a few themes listed here. Uh, there's an additional theme for the iPad. I'll show you that a little later. You have the frames per second, which uh, influences the quality of the animation effect. Now, if you turn this up, then it might run a little slower on older hardware like this iPhone 4 that I'm using here. You have the raining mode, and then you also have the splash at startup. And splash at startup makes it so if you turn it off, it doesn't splash at startup. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward there. The raining mode, if you notice here, you get little raindrops like that without actually having to touch the screen. It just continues to drop raindrops, and you can change the frequency of that if you want to do that. Uh, it's pretty awesome. And also works on the home screen as well as you see there. Let's turn off rainy mode and let's go ahead and check out some of these themes. How about Aquasphere? Now as you see here there's nothing there because I turned off Splash at Startup. Let's turn, well actually you know what we don't need to turn on Splash at Startup. We can just use our fingers to interact with Aquaboard like that. So that's that theme. Let's change the theme from Aquasphere to Waves. There's waves. And you'll notice subtle differences between the two, uh, between the themes. For instance, shockwave, you'll definitely see a difference there. You see this shockwave effect, which is really nice. And let's choose Unseen Abyss. Similar to shockwave, a little different. Abstract Artist. Let's try that. That's different. Okay. And of course, you can just drag your finger along as well to create additional effects. Heavy taps, so you get a really big wave there. And then uh, last but not least, smudge brush. Smudge brush. <laughs> Pronunciation is a little off today. All right, there we go. So those are all of the various themes that you have with Aquaboard. Now let's try it out on the iPad. I definitely think it looks better on the larger screen of the iPad. It's just more suited for that. You can change the uh, frames per second up to 60 on the iPad, uh, the hardware. This is the iPad 3 or the new iPad, so it can handle that. And then you have these fingertips. Notice this theme here, the fingertips. And you can really use the multi-touch on that large screen to use all your fingers to create the water effects. And that re looks really nice on the larger screen of the iPad, as you see there. So I think this, this theme is definitely more suited towards, on the iP towards usage on the iPad. It just looks better. The iPad is faster than the iPhone, that being the 4S or the iPhone 4, of course. And it, again, I just can't emphasize enough how much that bigger screen makes a difference with the effects. If you want to try it out for yourself, then you know what to do. Head over to Cydia. And there you'll find Aquaboard on Cydia's Big Boss repo. Now, it will set you back $2.99. I understand that's a little pricey, but you saw it had iPad and iPhone compatibility. You saw all the themes. You saw the multi-touch water effects. And you saw how cool Aquaboard really is. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.